ambush, waiting for other players. I hope Infinity Ward. I, I hope they. I hope they got that. I hope they got that joke when they were uh, making the map names. What's going on, guys? It's the Spectrum here, and this is a game of TDM on COD 4, which. Apart from live commentaries, I don't think I've really posted many commentaries for, and the uh, reason I'm playing COD 4 at the moment is just because uh, prestiging, prestige tokens, so that's why I'm playing it. And I thought I'd do a kind of tips video here that uh, that can kind of relate to other Call of Duties, other shooters in general really, and especially Modern Warfare 3, since the maps are going to be more like the ones in COD 4. Anyway, you saw me at the beginning there picking off that guy who went to the really predictable sniper post. If you know there are going to be spots on maps that are really popular, you can kind of tell straight off. You see me just aiming at it there just in case he pops his head back up. You can, you know, you can look at a map like the sniper tower on Array. You know there are going to be people up there. So, you know, always keep an eye on it. And it, it's one of those things that's just really predictable. Always look for high elevated spots that have obvious stairs going to them or near spawns or something like that because they will always always get you a nice free kill now you see me here just utilizing this tank for cover this ends up being a pretty slow game it has to be said I don't think I reach a chopper in the end but I do manage to pick up quite a few kill streaks you see me here like I said using the tank for cover reason being is that I like using that tank there because it has cover to the side cover in front, you can kind of angle your body to make sure that you don't get shot from any angles you don't want to. That moment back there, it's annoying I was uh, in mid-sentence when it happened, but that guy came around with his M16 and I wasn't quite sure whether it was pure luck, he actually gets me again here, has to be said, take up a guy there. He, uh, I wasn't quite sure whether it was pure luck or pure skill. He was, you know, firing from the hip, which means he had a greater kind of bullet spread. I was aiming down sights, couldn't track him fast enough. But, I don't know, maybe he, he knew he could do that? I don't know. But, to be honest, I, after this, I generally get him back several times in the game, so maybe it wasn't true skill. Otherwise, he would have outskilled me other times. Or maybe I'm just better. You see me here once again using kind of rooftops and things for cover. The M16 is just a gun that you have to play slowly with. Now I know in this game it is an absolute beast, but still, it, it's my preferred strategy. And with the whole kind of hitbox thing on COD 4, I know it would be better for more modern Call of Duty, like I get in there. Yeah, like that. It, it's just better to pick people off while they're in mid sprint. Another reason I like this spot. It's just that you can, it, it, it's a flank, it's at the edge of the map, and this is something you don't often find in Call of Duty, you don't find one of these spots where you can attack something from different angles. Mo most of the time the maps are focused so that you have to go straight ahead left or right, and then in okay, case so there are a lot of maps where there's this kind of big space in the middle, which I guess this is what it is, but you don't see that on too, too many maps. Can I get this guy? Yes, I can. And it's like that. You just see people running blindly across the middle, thinking that they'll be fine, they'll get to the other side, and then you're waiting for them to quite, you know, ambush them. Quite said, look, there's another guy going up to the sniper tower, but he... Sniper tower? It's like a bunker, I guess. But he doesn't pop his head out. That guy gave me such a fright when I was playing this game. I only played this like a minute ago. So... Still using the tank for cover. Like I said, a bit of a short game. Utilising my teammates UAV. And this is some horrible aim right here. I was always thinking, whenever I play COD 4 or any of the older Call of Duties, uh, I try and use this mentality of aim just in front of them because that's where the hitbox is, but it doesn't always work out for you. What I tend to find, if you aim for the air just in front of them while they're walking, you're generally going to pick them off. It's something that you just have to get used to, it's something that you can't focus on because if you focus on it, you'll do it too much. You'll just have these moments where, if you see someone running towards you, basically, or running in any direction, try and put the bullets in them. Try and get them to walk into the bullets, basically. I pick up another guy long range. And they drop the airstrike down in the middle. 
I personally think the airstrike in uh, Modern Warfare 3 could be very useful uh, for when I actually am going to be running the air the assault package. Reason being is that it'll be able to pit people off points whenever, and I don't know. It, they might fix it. I, I'm not sure. The precision airstrike in Modern Warfare 2 wasn't too great. Then again, you did have the Harriers only one kill up the way. So at this point, I've been kind of rerouted. It's a bit risky at the moment to go and take that spot again, mainly because the entire team is over there. So I found this uh, Humvee over here. I'm going to use that for some more cover, and it's working out pretty well. One of the things I do like about, you know, playing older games is that you get more of the the running gunners. And it, well, that guy was, that was only using blading it up. Y yeah, you get these running gunners who don't play as smart as they should do and don't necessarily have a great connection so they often just run into you who is waiting to again ambush them so that's something I do like but obviously you can't just live in the past forever and you have to get up and play whatever Call of Duty is modern and since Black Ops is nearly out oh, can I die? then I don't really feel guilty for not playing it anymore if that makes any sense, which it doesn't, because I can't phrase sentence as well. <laughs> no, anyway. Once again, come back. I, I never try and push into the other side of the map. I don't want to sp spawn flip them, and this is TDM. The spawns flip so easily. I Here, I actually thought I got hit markers on that. You know, I thought there was someone in whatever that was, but uh, no. no. That was one of those moments where you just feel like, ah, you try to get me by pulling off some fancy stuff and it didn't work. Speaking of pulling off fancy stuff, I actually have a game coming up uh, soon from this session I was playing in where I started off pretty well. It was a domination game. started off pretty well, but it just turned into what it, all Infinity War games seemed to be turning into and it's just a complete sniper fest think about it, COD 2, the snipers were overpowered, Call of Duty 4, they're now ridiculous, especially if you put an ACOG on it, and then, yeah, Modern Warfare 2, we all know what snipers are like in that, but that, that's a game for another time, that will be up pretty shortly, probably, but that's the game, I thought that was some good tips I could share with you, used cover, set up and control the engagement. Final score was, I think, a 17-7. Never actually got to my chopper. I feel some better aim could have got me a chopper. But like, favorite, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Come around this corner, actually.